and it can manifest in daily life. And I'll get to that. My next question, actually, if you, know, you Professor Roy Dean, like the, what, if there's one crucial element when it comes to sparring, like the, the biggest benefit for you, what is it? And why you should think everyone should spar from, you know, kids to retired you know, men and women. Why do you think people should spar? Mm. Because it's a form of dynamic problem solving. Mm -hmm. And it gives you confidence, real confidence, not pep talk confidence. But when you... Good one. <laughs> yeah, when, when you go against an adversary or a training partner who, who is, is tough, uh, and you have to earn it against that person, they do not want to give you the, any kind of advantage. And you, have to, you, cannot lie. You, you know that you got that and that then you can, you can apply that in a very real way to the outside world. Like, okay, you failed at, at something else off the mat. Hmm, maybe I need to try, I need to tweak something. I need to have a different kind of follow-up. Maybe I need to, my approach needs to be different. Maybe I need to, you know, you can still achieve success. You know you can because you achieved it in this other realm, but it took some experimentation. And that spirit of experimentation uh, is something that we need a lot more of, I think, in our political systems, in our, you know, in our approach to governance, our approach to interpersonal dynamics. You don't have to throw everything out. You just usually have to tweak the variables a little bit. And, and then you can arrive at a solution that you believe in and that you, you know actually works. That's a great answer. Yes. Like the, the idea of becoming a strat, like a mind based on strategy and approaching things I don't want to, I, I, this word has been like used too frequently recently, but stoically, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. don't, like, but to me, sparring, like, I'm going to talk about based on my own experience and also based on Jigoro Kano's philosophy. Before I elaborate myself, I just want to say one thing. It takes a lot of strength to be kind. Mm. When I say kind, I don't mean nice. Nice sometimes, like if someone is nice in the workforce or uh, in, uh, at school or in class, sometimes it's because they want something in return. So being nice, or it's 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 either like I don't it's like someone who's nice, like almost harmless, or they want something. It's it's not right, the, right. Yeah, it's it's not an option. The the real kindness is when it's an option. I don't have to be nice to you, but I choose to be nice to you. Also, kindness takes a lot of strength is when you give like to those that you know they cannot give back or you give because you want the better, the best for other people, not just for yourself. You're, you're thinking a little bit selflessly. And like I said, it takes so much strength to be kind. I'll, I'll elaborate. You know, for example, why is this spouse, I don't know, abusive at home or have, oh, because they lost their job. Uh, why is this woman like really manipulative and selfish and all because, you know, uh, she lost her father and maybe, I don't know, she's, take, she's taking care of her mother. That's why she's so rude. Her mother is sick. You know, why is this kid such a bully and he's beating up kids relentlessly every day at school? Uh, because he's being abused at home. So if you think about it, all of them, because, oh, something has happened to them. They're the victim. They're, you know, because, because something has happened to them it created this frustration this sense of weakness and defenselessness is that a word mm -hmm. yes and thus they cannot be kind to those who are weaker than them or they cannot provide something for them so when when people say force for good it really is force for good because acquiring strength you know whether it's mental emotional physical it's not an easy thing so being kind Again, it takes so much courage, so much strength to do it, just like forgiveness and any, every other good sentiment uh, in the human nature. That's why there's just a lot less than we wanted. So when yeah. it comes to sparring, let's go back to sparring. So when it comes to sparring, I think it shaves off a lot of this sense of weakness and helplessness and defenselessness and frustration off of your character because 
I still remember when I first came and you know I would lose and then I was like man why did I lose like oh I would get get tapped out or like thrown and I would get like almost like infuriated inside like why and then I would remind myself like you're an orange belt or you're a white belt like mm-hmm. act, you know right yeah what well, it's an assault yeah, on like, your own up, like what what do you expect like grow up like and then uh, uh, a lot of the time that something that would make me feel better is watch the champions that I love, like when they lost or what they do after they lost. And that of mm. course it helped a lot. So but coming back to the character, once you realize that oh okay, I have to do this, oh okay, uh it, it you shave off so much of this aggression based on weakness and frustration in your own character. Because I grew up like in a place where I'm talking about 13 year old girls are like pregnant and 15 like, year old boys dying of overdose like this type mm-hmm. of environment and bullying was just so normal and if you get beat up it's your fault because you didn't defend yourself so mm-hmm. this is the type of environment that I grew up in like early teens basically so a lot of it it stays with you so the, just the idea like when I was in Aikido and thinking about fighting or you know doing judo and I watch like the Beijing Olympics or the London Olympics or BJJ and I see these people being put in submissions and tapping out and getting thrown. It would scare me, like it would scare the hell out of me. Like the idea of fighting. So me going into sparring in BJJ and then going into judo. To, to me, that was a huge milestone to get mm-hmm. over. So I, eventually I got over it. But then, you know, you start to lose, you know, because you're a beginner. And then you feel this like because someone is basically doing whatever they want to you. And that really enrages you because you are so weak, not because you're enraged, because you have a tough character, it's the opposite. So it shaved a lot of this aggression. Of course, I'm not saying don't go to therapy if there is unresolved issues. Of course, we all you know, need to resolve things, but in terms of like active exercise for your character and to release a lot of this stuff, it's boring, mm-hmm. it's just amazing. Because recently I've had an experience, I don't wanna go too much into detail, but like I always wanted to be a kind person, someone who's a giver, but for some reason I was always like a, this neutral person. Hmm. Uh, but now with my family, with, you know, if I'm dating someone, I realized that, no, I'm present. Um, I'm emotionally present, physically present, mentally present, and I can see it in their respect and how they treat me and how they're happy with me and with my family, with my friends. And I realized recently with something that happened that, you know, I reached like this really good level of kindness and I made not only myself better but also the ones that are around me and that made me really happy and a lot of the times that we need to get in tune with this aggression that we have but in a healthy way that's why I was listening to this podcast with a woman and Josh Hinger I believe his name Mm -hmm. she was saying that a lot of the jiu-jitsu black belts they're all like a lot of them are devoted fathers, their very caring husband. And because they got in tune with this frustration and they dealt with it in a healthy way that they can go to the other side and be really tough and kind. Like I said, you need to be really strong to be kind. Mm-hmm. So I do believe this. And this is, in my opinion, one of the benefits of sparring. Now, how this ties to Kano's philosophy, there is, you have Serio Kuzenyo, which is efficient use of energy, etc. But there's also Jita Kyoe, which is, you know, mutual prosperity for self and others. And to be kind, like everyone is prospering around you at least. Mm-hmm. So one of the benefits of sparring is it gives you the strength to be kind, basically. I, I like what you said. Uh, I I would put it <clears throat> as perhaps just to put, just to use a very simple word of, of power. Yeah. Sometimes people have their power taken away from them. So they feel they have to take it from someone else just to get enough so they feel okay. Mm. So maybe that's where some bullying comes in, right? And and you're, they're just trying to feel okay, like they have enough. The thing about sparring is that it can make deposits in, in, your, in your power bank just by surviving through a rough round with somebody tough, you know that you have that. And then eventually the power build, you can survive, 
then you start threatening people and then, hey, you can tap people. Now you're at a different level of power, but you're not at a deficit anymore. You actually have a surplus and now you can give that to other people and that's kindness because you have enough power to be kind and you can exercise that power you choose you don't give it away all the time you don't have to take it all the time uh, of course yes this is boundaries it's, of course it's. and who who is giving you respect also that's very important yeah yeah absolutely people when people you respect give you respect it's it's a self-perpetuating cycle yeah. and sometimes even more powerfully like that kindness you don't have to give a person respect but you choose to yeah and they remember that maybe they don't even know who you are or your, what your position is but they they realize oh he was kind to me when he didn't need to be and that's really the grace of life and forgiveness yeah there's, there's you don't need to be but you do it anyway and you know it's like in les mis when the when the priest gives He's like, oh, you forgot the candlesticks too. Mm. You know, it's, there is something about building up that, uh, the bank of your warrior spirit and, yeah. and sparring, you can actually receive something from it. Yeah. That, that, I mean, it, you, so you're not externally sourced. You don't have to be vampiric taking other people's power. You generate it yourself. You're internally powered. 